Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. It might not even be a Wednesday. You've seen the title of the video. This is what it's going to be about. Basically an unboxing and a review of the very new Warhammer 40k Space Marine Tactical Squad. One of these now will set you back £25. There's a little bit of a price increase. So, and the... the the other box that it replaced was kind of old. The sprues, there were large gaps in and there weren't many options for the miniatures. As you can see on the box, and if you've seen any pictures, uh, I really like the legs. Can you say that in the most uncamp way? I'm not sure, but I like the legs. Good poses. Arms look pretty cool. There is one dude somewhere on here that I do very much like. He's reloading. Excellent. Who knew? And there's plenty of options there with an all specs and a melter gun and a power sword that's on fire. So there we go. Nice legs all around. Uh, I mean, it didn't stop you abusing legs from other box sets, but anyway, enough about me rambling. The legendary UKPK. Um, yeah, yeah, choking hazard, small parts, we know all that. Let's feed this crack, this crack addiction, <laughs> this uh, plastic crack addiction. Right, so, let's open this, I've got the macro on, that's why it's quite small. Don't have much room, but here we go. So you get your two lots of uh, transfer sheets. Very useful if you haven't yet mastered the art of painting on your transfers. Uh, you got the instructions. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, you look at those those three D, you know, CAD models or whatever you want to call them, and yeah, can someone just grab that and put it in a video game now, please? So yeah, you get the instructions with the nice legs, of course. Uh, You've got all your instructions there. Him jamming a magazine in. You've got your bases, very unique, very limited edition. Not, and you got the sprues. Now you get three sprues. Ah, what, what is this game's workshop? Is is it the the power of three, the rule of three, all of a sudden with your new box sets? But look at that, not an awful lot of space has been wasted there on this one. So I now have deemed this the head sprue. <sighs> Are you ready? Uh, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 16. Yeah, that's right, that's right, 16 heads. And this is a 10-man squad. Don't tell me they don't give you options. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, you've got a power sword there and a chain sword. You've got those... Funky scroll capsule canister things. Oh, you've got plenty of uh, purity seals down at the bottom. And they look like they've been new, new newly modelled. So they look uh, they, they look better than the old ones. Grenades. You know, look, Oh, you've got a few of the normal frag grenades. I'm assuming the green ones are frag. And I'm assuming that the, you know, the, the normal red ones with the metal band are crack. But then you've got, so you've got frags. Frag, crack, 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 frag, crack, frag, crack, frag, crack, frag, crack. So you've got a mixture. Obviously, I'm going to use them more now. Uh, the bat packs. That's the only kind of like, that's a newish bat pack that I've seen. Well, a few of them are. A few of them have different holes. Look at that one with the, the little tubing. And that's cool, that's like uh, kind of a gothic one with, with a skull. You've got to have a skull somewhere, Games Workshop. Uh, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chess pieces. Are you kidding me? I just had to count the uh, the back panels of the chess plates because you got eleven of these. Wow. Well, very impressed so far. Excellent. And, whoa, maybe I should have done this brew uh, later, but we'll just put that one on top of there. So this brew has all of your arms. 
it has the pick your nose finger, the bolt clip finger and the hot potato hand and it has a nice uh, Spyderco S90V blade there, probably not and then you've got bolt guns, two, four, six, eight, ten bolt guns from what I can see, so you can have them all with bolt guns, don't know why you'd want to do that really you've got a plasma pistol some sights, a grab pistol, one of their new weapons and now this is quite funky, alright I don't know why they've done this, but it's mixed mixed opinions. I used to make my combi weapons, combi plasmas, combi melters, combi flavors, because I I just didn't want to buy their their combi weapon sprue. But what they've done is they've kind of got the bolt gun and done your work for you by um, kind of chopping the top of the bolt gun off in a way, uh, lowering the the um, muzzle, whatever you want to call it, lowering that and allowing you to clip on, well clip glue on, these three combi options. Say three, there's four because there's a flamer somewhere. I know there's a flamer, there he is, hiding all the way up there. So you can clip that, that one on, clip the grav, combi grav gun, combi melter, combi plasma, all the combis look nice. What else have you got? You've got some, uh, some kilts, or whatever you want to call them, loincloths, skirts and you've got the assault weapons so you've got a flame flamethrower, melter gun with a little uh, <laughs> tiny little aquila kind of uh, key fob thing going on, I like that, that's uh, pretty funky it's kind of like accessorise your melter gun now or accessorise your, your weapon of death you got your plasma gun, looks pretty straightforward. If anything, it looks more square. It's, it's, yeah, in a way. You got a bolt pistol. You got two uh, two knives there, and you've got your your grav gun, which there's a lot of hype about, obviously. And you have a power fist. What else? Have I missed anything on that sprue? Don't think I have. But there you go. Plenty of pistols. Plenty of assault weapons. That is a nice sprue. Last sprue. Here's you got your, your big shoulder pads, nice and simple. And you got your spiky one just there. You've also got this one that looks quite new. It's got an aquila and a little little uh you know press the red button to you just press it, I believe, and all of the power armor just you know shoots off him. So that's that's a instant win button that one just there uh, you've got another another accessory it's turning into accessorize your space marine really you've got another shoulder pad with just, with just a bullet or a round um, hanging off it any more of these special yep you got some you got some ones here as well more bullet more bullet and a little kind of scroll with a like a kind of like um, a round area thing. Sorry about that, there's a bit of noise outside and uh, you got this uh, circle metal kind of thing. You got all the legs. Who can forget the legs? The legs I like. Probably these ones, these ones, these ones, maybe even these ones. The legs, uh, where the legs are kind of like closer together, I think they're cool. I don't like all the space marines with these legs far apart and things. Anyway, you've got uh, a melter bomb, a nicely new modelled pistol in its holster. You got the the missile launcher, which has changed because you get this uh, backpack thing now that you that you would have got with the assault and black black reach, I, I believe. You get the um, banner with different uh, tops on it, which is cool, and you get pout, you get you know ammo pouches and uh, all these different accessories a lot less than than what you used to get but that's good because uh, I never really use them that much but so that's quite a decent sprue as well uh, overall very impressed actually very impressed especially that one I mean that one is just 
And you, I mean, l look how little wastage they're, they're, they're now manufacturing now. I mean, in a way, that, that's good for them because it's less, uh, less wastage and it means that their boxes can be smaller in a way and they can fit more stuff so it's less sprues. So they only have to pump out three of these and uh, I think that, that saves money for them but also it costs them a lot of money because they have to use brand new moulds and things. But uh, anyway, so they're, they're the three uh, sprues. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to be beavering away and uh, join me in part two when you see ten of these badasses all there completely glued. Join me for part two. Hello, welcome to part two. As you can see, this is the whole of the tactical squad, completely finished. Um, hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to zoom in, get a little bit of a better view. I'll probably show you them individually anyway. So this is the full ten. And what I've decided to do was, uh, this is using all the parts in, in the new tactical squad box set, obviously, because this is, this is the video. But basically, what I've done is I've used all, all the parts in the set, obviously. It was very difficult for me not to use the parts in the set and use use other parts, some of my spare parts. And the Stern Guard veteran squad is a, is a prime example for that because uh, it, it with um, with all the different parts you could essentially you know add them to to the, this squad and I suggest you do that I suggest if you if you've already got enough tactical Marines and you don't really want any more buy a tactical squad buy a stern guard and you can quite easily make make 10 stern guard out of it so I'm just going to show you them individually so this is what I did with the sergeant I gave him a grab pistol and a power sword. I know that power swords, their their eight armor penetration is now only three instead of two, but uh, but there we go. Gave him a little skirt thing, put a purity seal on. It does look a bit strange that he's got a helmet with this uh, this extra gorget, I think they're called, which protects the neck more, and it probably would look better with just a, a bare head. But I just think you, you you've already got extra protection for your neck. And then you're not going to wear a helmet. I just, I just think it's a bit, you know, self-defeating. And one of these new backpacks. I think this is the only one of these backpacks in the set with this kind of gothic skull. Hope you can see all this anyway. And then this is de not detachable, but you can choose which of the top of uh, of the banners you can put. So I had him in that in that kind of pose, kind of leading the the squad. This guy probably looks familiar. If you if um. I probably won't have put it up yet, but it's a how to build a space marine, and basically I, I build this space marine in the video. I think he's got a really cool Corvus helmet with the studs and the little, uh, you know, uh, cutouts on the nose piece with the the spiky shoulder pad or pauldron. So he's he's got the grav gun there. This guy taking aim. I like these arms where they're quite kind of raised, so they actually look like they're they're going to be shooting in the direction they're, they're facing. This guy, he's looking at his ore specs so that he's hopefully going to be able to reduce um, the enemy's cover save by one because that's kind of like the rules of it and he's just got his uh, bolt gun held up one side. I kind of, you know, tried to make them kind of individual um, in, in a way by giving them, sp you know, little little differences. I didn't want a whole load of space marines that are you know in in one that look exactly the same pretty much the missile launcher i really like these legs out of all of them i think these are probably one of the best legs um i think well these and the sergeant's legs are, are the best i'd say in terms of the new you know comparing them to the old ones they're very very upright legs and he's just going to be firing a missile yes it's still got one of these these hands that's like with the wrist at 90 degree angle kind of thing but uh, yep he's just firing, firing one of those. I still think a really cool missile launcher um, model is the, the one that's crouching. This is one of the new ones as well in a way. He's reloading but I think Games Workshop dropped the ball a little bit here with the design. You do have to cut the um, magazine 
off the actual bolt gun but as you can see he's holding it with his left hand about to reload and he's actually holding it the wrong way because if he was if he was to to then move his hand close to his body and put it in he'd actually put the clip the wrong way what he's going to have to do is bring his bolt gun to the side that way and actually move his hand that way to get it in um, but apart from that you know that's just a little little thing but really that magazine the curvature of it should be the opposite way but that's just me being uh, very nitpicky there but uh, if you're going to do something you better do it right kind of thing uh, I like these shoulder pads with the bullets on and he's just like aiming up I suppose this guy, bit of a strange pose, probably the least like pose I, I like out of all of them. Yeah, he's got his uh, his trusty shemp rock or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the way he's kind of leaning, I didn't really think about this cloth thing. That actually makes him look like he's leaning even more because it looks like there's, there's more weight on that side. So maybe I should have moved his torso the other way. But uh, but yeah, that's that's that guy. This guy, he is actually facing down. I like this this kind of stance. He's facing down, probably finishing a, an enemy off. And this guy is probably the most ubiqui ubiquitous um, of them all. Only in only when you compare them, compare him to a standard tactical squad. You know the old ones. Most of them were in this pose. But even this, his his bolt gun is a bit closer to his chest, and he's actually he. It's more believable now that he's that he's actually firing that instead of just standing ski with. Anyway, that's kind of like the little review of them. Uh, I really like them. I think it gives you so many options, and um, I just bring. I, I do think it gives you so many options in in what you can do and what you can make. And I think they're an excellent um, box set if you want to kit bash a stone guard set. Uh, but you you do get an awful lot of pieces. I think this is kind of a new feature that I'm going for here. I don't think, see many people do this, but these are all the little extra bits that you get spare. As you can see, you get a plasma gun, flamer, and a melter gun spare. You get the, the combi um, weapon here, which is very interesting. I thought I'd show you it. Basically, get the bottom half of the combi weapon, the bolt gun part, and then you get four of the the top part, so the combi grav gun, melter gun, plasma gun and combi flamer. I like the combi flamer, I think that's really quite neat. You get plasma pistol, I think you get a bolt pistol and one in its holster. You get a lot, quite a few heads, you can see there's quite a few bald heads, a power fist, um, an extra chest piece, some knives, some targeters, um, I think there's three bolt guns left. I've got lots of purity seals. Not as many pouches as there used to be. I remember there used to be loads of pouches and things, but there's there's just a few. A chain sword still remains. Melter bomb and quite a few grenades. You definitely get a lot of grenades in this and the, the pointy finger as well there. So there you go. I, th I hope that helps as well. Just showing you the, the extra pieces that you get with this. You don't get an awful lot, but... Um, you know, you, there is scope there if you just wanted to um, give your whole army some reinforcements. You could basically, um, you could basically just uh, buy one of these and then give most of them combi weapons. Sorry about that. I seem to have been joined by Catzilla here. I give her a bit of attention. But yeah, you could basically make one, two, three, four, five. You could have five, half of the box set with assault weapons, a missile launcher, and you could make the other four. You could make them all sergeants if you really wanted. Um, because there's there's plasma pistols, grav pistols. So plasma pistol, grav pistol, bolt pistol, uh, power sword, fist, and chain sword. I think you'd just be left with one Space Marine that hasn't really got a special weapon, just just one bolt gun. But I thought that ha would help you um, if you needed some special weapons and uh, 
sergeants and things for your army. You just buy one of these sets and then there's there's a lot of uh, options and things. Anyway, thank you very much for um, watching. Thanks for being with me today. I do appreciate it. If you have liked this video, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks again. The Emperor Protects.